Now we will cover the different event entry views in the Capture app, the form view and the row view. The interface allows users to deviate between these two views. And so far, what we have used is called the form view. In such cases as the Sarah RCH program, which is a survey, this view is likely the most useful as it is presumably only one survey that is taking place at a time. However, when we think about registering many cases, this view can prove time consuming and the row view may be the more efficient way of registering events. To demonstrate row view, unselect the Sarah RCH program and then select the Malaria Case Management Program to create a new event. To switch views, select Switch to Row View in the top right corner of the event form. Notice that in Row View, the data elements associated with the program appear in tabular format rather than a vertical format, as was the case in Form View. Something to note in this form is that the blue Save button at the bottom is actually contextual. When in Row View, by default, we see Save and Add Another. In Row View, the assumption is made that you will be entering several records in a row. The Save and Add Another option allows for you to easily enter details on another malaria case without saving and exiting separately. You can also click on the down arrow and the option Save and Exit appears, which is the default option in Form View. Let's enter some test data for an event now. Once you have finished, select Save and add another. We can see at the bottom of the screen the event that has been entered during the data entry session appears. When you have finished entering all of the data, you can then select Finish. We hope you found the demonstration of the Capture app useful. Let's just highlight what we learned in this subsection. We demonstrated how to select the correct event program in the Capture app that you want to enter data for. We described the layout and options available for event capture in the Capture app. We illustrated how to register and fill in an event. We explained how skip logic, program indicators, and program validation are used in event-based data entry and we explained the different views available for entering data within the Capture app. We hope you have been following along in the step-by-step -step activities listed under the videos. But if you haven't, please refer to them for extra practice to help ensure the understanding of the information presented on the web-based Capture app. Also, use the discussion forum to ask questions to other learners or facilitators.